थोड़े इंडियन प्रमोटर्स का प्रॉब्लम क्या है वो मो माया से निकल नहीं पा वो जो डेलीगेशन और पावर जो आज भी अपने हाथ में रखना है ना दे हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द पावर इज नॉट इन इन राइटिंग वाउचर्स एवरी डे द पावर इज इन शेयर होल्डिंग अगर आप शेयर होल्डिंग के पावर को समझ लो देन यू विल रन द कंपनी इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड and what if the stock uh, has it always happens you buy the stock and it goes down i love it what do you do i love it bahut acha lagta hai ki agar niche mein aapko maal mil raha hai because i believe ki aapko it's a, it's a myth ki log stock lete hi next second se wo chahte hain ki stock upar jana chalu kar wo kabhi nahi ho sakta hai market doesn't understand that you have bought it or us meeting mein i think there were 20 25 investors hmm. and i asked some very uncomfortable questions on balance sheet cash flows to the promoter and i was kicked out of the meeting hmm. and that became the talking point for some time that pankaj was kicked out of that meeting hello and welcome to money control i'm mahalakshmi and i'm going to take you through the wealth formula with my guest who has earned his reputation in the mutual fund industry as an astute mid cap fund manager he started out in the world of stock markets at a rather turbulent time right after the 911 attack and that too as a credit analyst and then gradually moved on to manage equity funds he just quit kotak mutual fund after a 14 year stint to start his own investment fund during his tenure his funds assets under management grew from a small amount 113 crores to about 36000 crores and his mid cap fund kotak emerging equities fund has delivered an annualized return of 23.35% over the last 10 years so please welcome pankaj tibrewal pankaj thank you so much for taking out time for the wealth formula uh, it's my pleasure malakshmi so pankaj you started out at a at a very turbulent time you started out as a credit analyst How was that time like? Describe that to us, and what made you move from credit to equities? Uh, so the journey started in two thousand two three. So while I was doing my ma- uh, masters in UK, London, and Manchester, um, I was selected by some of the well-known investment firms in the world. Uh, but to my luck, nine eleven happened, and everything was frozen. um i looked back to india in terms of job opportunities and then came a call from one person called binay chankotia he was heading the fixed income at principal mutual fund right uh he said that why don't you come there's a credit position open i said i don't know anything about it he said don't worry come and and i'll make you uh learn all about it so started my journey from the credit analyst out there uh that was the time when equities weren't doing well and i used to see my colleagues the portfolio managers out there on equities they used to just pass time till 334 that as soon as the market closes uh, they have to just rush by and uh, uh 2005 uh, was the turning point where uh the only gap between credit and equities is you look on valuation side on equities for the upside or the downside on credit you come to a conclusion it's a zero sum game whether you will get your money back right but apart from that all the analysis of business management uh you know all the uh, risk in the business is remains the same mm-hmm. and i was very excited about the analysis of companies and sectors and stuff like that um in 2005 one of our funds uh, uh was not doing well which was a small 20 crore fund uh which was the mip yeah. so i just requested my boss uh that uh this fund is not doing well it's bottom of the charts uh why don't you just give me a chance right. to you know kind of start off with and he was kind enough uh to give me that opportunity mm. and within next 12 to 18 months uh we as a team did extremely well and the fund actually uh did quite well and we started getting inflows So uh, MIP means the fund with twenty twenty five percent equity. Equity and right. the rest is the fixed right. income component. Right. Right. Uh, so that was the turning point. The confidence started building in. There were a couple of other funds which were all, also not doing well. Took the charge of that as well, and that started my journey. But my boss was very clear: you manage the fund, but you have to also take the responsibility of the sectors you are already doing. Right. 
So I was doing a lot of uh, work mm. and uh, very little time for me personally. But I think that was the real time when it shaped me as a as a uh, investment analyst out there. And then I took another couple of funds um, and they also started to perform. Uh, and 2008 mm. was the global financial crisis. Right. Um, and that time uh, in 2008-9, uh, index had come down to 8,000. Sensex I'm talking about, which is 70,000 today. Correct, correct. Um, and we, I went to the senior management and said that every time the industry launches the fund at the peak, Mm. Right now, if you see the entire anxiety in the street is very high. Mm. People don't want to meet fund managers. Mm. This is the time we should launch a fund. Uh, maybe markets may go down by 10%, who knows. But over the next 3-5 years, this time will never come back. Mm. Uh, we collected only 10 crores in the new fund and that was called Principal Emerging Blue Chip Fund. Mm. The next year it went on to become one of the um, best performing funds I think for a long period of time mm. with 180 or 190 percent return in one year. Okay, so this was, uh, was it in 2008? 2010. 2008, 9 we you launched. launched in 2009. And 2009 was right. the year right. when the market started coming correct, up again correct, correct. and uh, the fund did extremely well. And I think when I moved on to Kotak, uh, which was 2010, huh. uh, the 10 or 12 crores which we collected actually became 250-300 crores when I exited. So I think that momentum was extremely strong. And in Kotak then, in 2010, I took charge of two funds. Mm -hmm. One was the Kotak small cap as it is known. And the other one is Kotak emerging equity. Right. Both were about 110, 120 uh, odd crores. Uh, very small in size. Uh, we worked our way along as a team. And I think, um, as Helen says, um, all if you try to do alone is very little. If you try to do as a team, it's quite big. And I think that proved along. And till last month when I uh, moved out of Kotak to start on my entrepreneurial dream, uh, the Kotak Emerging Fund from 113 crores yeah. became 36,000 yeah. crores. And 127 crores became 13,000 odd crores. So the journey has been excellent, I think. Uh, it was never a linear line. Mm. It had its ups and downs, but on the hindsight, when I reflect back, um, quite satisfied. Right. So let's go back again in time. Um, you know, what are some of the early learnings from credit analysis that you that you could apply to equities? What was that learning curve really like? The rigorous in the analysis. I mean, uh, because in credit, it's a zero one game. Uh, if the company defaults, you never get the money back. Right. Um, I think the early part of my career got shaped with the entire thought process mm. that top line is vanity, mm. bottom line is sanity, but cash in bank is reality. Mm. Uh, a lot of time in equity, people run after p &L, right. profit and loss account. But what early days in credit taught me that it's not PL which is extremely important. Mm. It's the balance sheet and cash flows which are most important. Right. And I think that's something which still is one of the most important learnings mm. at a very early point in career. Mm. And I, I, I could reconcile to that fact because I come from a business family. Right. And uh, when I saw my grandfather mm. uh, during my upbringing and my dad in Marwadi, they have something called Partha system. Correct. You know, Billa daily cash. Billa still cash. follow it, right? Yeah, yeah. The Partha system is so powerful concept uh, we Indians developed, which means that at the end of the day, you could from your cash flows hmm. work it reverse and do your PNL. Right. It's not the other way around, which we all analysts do today. Correct, correct. So I think that Partha system in the early 90s and mid 90s, when I used to see my dad, uh, my brother, uh, and from my grandfather days. I think we, which was a very powerful concept. Mm. And I think it just got formalized mm. when I took a, a role on the credit side. And I think that's still the most important learning right. which still goes with me today. Right. So, Pankaj, uh, zoom in on the period from, let's say, 2004 to 2007, 2008. Uh, usually when markets go up, that was the big, you know, India growth narrative. 
And those are the times that we saw that, you know, companies were really leveraging. They were going out and building their businesses. And there was great confidence in growth. And balance sheets obviously, you know, took a beating. And that we got to know only in hindsight. So when you have these, you know, pitch between, uh, there is a conflict between growth narrative versus cash flows. How do you navigate? What are some of your, you know, uh, thoughts and lessons uh, from that? I think uh, now this is the third time I am seeing a conundrum. Uh, and there, and obviously in bull markets, people forget the basics of investing. No. Uh, we first saw in 2007-8 uh, in the form of infra, power, real estate. People were valuing land banks. And I still remember one of the most talked about IPO was there. Or uh, us meeting me, I think there were 20, 25 investors. Yeah. And I asked some very uncomfortable questions on balance sheet cash flows to the promoter. And I was kicked out of the meeting. Yeah. And that became the talking point for some time that Pankaj was kicked out of that meeting. Yeah. But finally, on the hindsight, valuation didn't matter because cash flows and balance sheet was important. Right. So I think uh, there are three cycles which have been proved. Uh, one was the 2007-8. It came in the form of infra power and other things. Mm. In 2017 onwards, uh, especially 17 when you saw a big surge in mid and small cap, people again forgot that. Then you have different stocks, Vakrangi, Manpasand and so on and so forth. Uh, and other uh, narratives which were, uh, you know, think upon. Then came the uh, startup era. Oh. And now you're seeing the struggle with the startup era because yeah. people forgot the main essence of investing. People were just flown away with narratives. Oh. And I think in, in today's environment, there are risks started to growing again on oh. the same concept. I am seeing companies in many sectors. Uh, when you look at the last five years cash flows, they are zero. Oh. Uh, to fund that growth, if you have to fund growth fund and you don't have any internal accruals, no. what do you do? How do you fund that growth? No. You either debt or no. equity ko dilute. Karo. Yeah. And that always from a medium to long term is not the best for an investor. No. Apart from financials. Financials no. has to do it because it's a leverage business from a business perspective. Right. But non-financials, yeah. this is a recipe, a recipe of disaster. Right. And uh, today, when I look at some of the EMS companies, some of the, uh, you know, uh, other stories which are brewing uh, and low free float companies, I uh, hmm. you know, many companies have not generated cash flows right. for fairly long period of time. Right. People are getting flown on narrative and the growth story, but growth without cash flows hmm. is not sustainable in my view. Good. So, these are different groups, Sarjan. Correct. Right. But you don't forget your basics. Ko nahi bulna hai. Right. And I think if your basics are okay, I think you can you can navigate that cycle well. Right. Fair enough. That point on cash flows is absolutely uh, bang on. Let's, um, again, another question I wanted to ask you was about, you know, stock picking style. Let's start from there because in your farewell note, you said that you have picked up about 400 stocks in the last, you know, 14, 14 years. years. And that's a fairly big number because today, I think the universe of stocks in which mutual funds invest itself is not more than, you know, 320, 330. So obviously, you have pretty much scanned every stock that was investable uh, for a mutual fund. So tell us about your process to zero in on, you know, the right stock. So I think uh, 400 is the overall number across both the funds. There will be duplication on number of stocks also, but that's fine. But uh, we had a... While I was in Kotak, uh, we had a universe of 430 stocks which we actively tracked. Hmm. Uh, and actively means every quarter, meeting the management, at least have everything models hmm. running and, 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 and process oriented. When I look the at... The unique names will be how many? About 240, 230, okay, okay. 240, 250. Okay. Uh, and uh, over the cycle, correct, over correct, the cycle. Correct. Um, and few of the learnings has been that if you look at the table which I provided in my farewell letter, uh, that about 16% of one of the funds holding became 10x plus. Huh. Uh, and some of the learnings were, I think there are six points to picking up stocks, which has worked well for us as a team at Kota. Huh. The first one was uh, the selection of entrepreneurs and promoters. Huh. I think that's the crux, huh. and especially in the mid-market space. 
we have seen that right promoters create value over a period of time with the right intention right honesty yeah. and we had tried to bring art and science to it kaise like kiya humne ki bhai aap uske employer se baat employee se baat karo supplier se baat karo customer se baat karo uske dealer distributor se baat karo and jab aap pure ecosystem se baat karte ho to you get a sense ki culture of the organization and the culture and the intent of the promoter is right or wrong yeah. and हमने एक पूरा नेटवर्क ऑफ सीए बनाया था तो हर सिटी में जब हम लोग कोई कंपनी को देखते थे द फर्स्ट पोर्ट ऑफ कॉल यूज टू बी टू दैट सी ए कि भाई दे नो द लाइफ ऑफ द प्रमोटर इन एंड आउट एंड वी बिलीव दैट द प्रमोटर्स बैलेंस शीट इन इंडिया एंड द कंपनीज बैलेंस शीट आर नॉट सेपरेटेड अगर प्रमोटर लेवरेज है पर्सनल कैपेसिटी वो कहीं ना कहीं कंपनीज के बैलेंस शीट में भी दिखेगा रिफ्लेक्ट होगा सो आई थिंक दैट एनालिसिस गेव एस द कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन or uh, whether he is the right person and he, leopards don't change their stripe hmm. so we go, used to go back into the history and do a lot of analysis so i think promoter and their skin in the game hmm. and our average holding sense has been that 55% plus koi bhi company mein promoter ka skin in the game hota hai that's a reasonable number to hmm. work out with jahan promoter ka skin in the game 15 20 25% hi hota hai right. ex financial i'm talking about right वहां पर आपको वरी करने का बिकॉज दे इज लिमिटेड स्कोप ऑफ दैट एंड एंड आर एनालिसिस सजेस्ट दैट दे डोंट क्रिएट वैल्यू इन द लॉन्गर टर्म वेरी फ्यू ऑफ देम राइट स्टिल इन इंडिया यूएस इट्स अ डिफरेंट बॉल गेम ऑल टूगेदर एवरीथिंग इज प्रोफेशनलाइज नो देर इज नो कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रमोटर्स आई थिंक दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई थिंक प्रमोटर्स इन अ मीडियोकर बिजनेस कैन क्रिएट वैल्यू बैड प्रमोटर्स इन अ ग्रेट बिजनेस कैन डिस्ट्रॉय वैल्यू एंड आई थिंक if you look at india is going through a massive or go will go through a massive transition hmm. in the next 5 10 years hmm. where the old guard is giving way to the new guard hmm. and our sense is my sense is that ki jo naye generation hai kai log born with silver spoon hai they don't have the passion yeah but there are a lot of entrepreneurs and i think next 30 40 50 of those entrepreneurs will create the india's next decade or two decades hmm. can we find 10 15 20 of them hmm. i think that's the selection on promoters the second one is on the business itself that the opportunity size is large enough or not and i think aap agar choti machli ho bade talab mein to grow karne ki opportunity hai hmm. but agar aap badi machli ho chote talab mein aap kitne bhi pair maar lo right. to you won't be able to grow right. i think that's very important right. the third point is that uh return on capital is extremely important and companies which became multi baggers for us one common thread was that they generated return on capital in excess of 16 17% wow. uh so that when they grew by more than 15% or 15% plus they didn't need to dilute equity or raise debt correct the internal accruals used that's to fund the to. to fund the growth and i think that's very important because jo लोअर रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी कैपिटल वाले हैं वो एक दो बार ग्रोथ कर सकते हैं दो साल ग्रोथ कर लेंगे तीन साल ग्रोथ कर लेंगे जैसे ही मार्केट टैंक करता है दे हैव अ टफ टाइम बिकॉज दे कान ग्रो एंड दे शुड वर्क ऑन रिटर्न ऑन कैपिटल सो दैट्स द थर्ड पॉइंट द फोर्थ पॉइंट वी हैव सीन दैट इफ दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर गुड ग्रोथ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रोथ ऑन द टॉप लाइन एज वेल एज बॉटम लाइन एंड सम ऑफ आर मल्टी बैगर्स वी हैव सीन हैड ग्रोन कैगर Hmm. for the 7 8 year period consistently by 18 to 20% or 22%. Hmm. So I think that's broadly uh, the fourth point and fifth is that most of the companies which are bigger in size today they were smaller in size. So small is beautiful. Right. They started small and over a period once they executed they kind of did well. So I think this 5 6 point formula सुनने में इजी लगता है बट चेकलिस्ट जब होता है आपको चेक मार्क करना है उस समय डिफिकल्टी होती है एंड इफ यू कैन फॉलो द प्रोसेस कंसिस्टेंटली ओवर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन प्रमोटर बिकॉज मुझे बार बार लगता है कि इंडिया में 90 परसेंट अगर आपका प्रमोटर कॉल राइट है ट्रस्ट मी टेन परसेंट द प्रोमोटर विल एग्जीक्यूट ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड प्रोमोटर्स विच आर क्रिएटिंग ऑप्शन वैल्यू हर तीन चार साल में जो भी मैंने स्टॉक्स देखे वहां पर एक ऐसी बिजनेस प्रमोटर नया ले आता है ऑप्शन वैल्यू क्रिएट करता है जो नेक्स्ट दस साल इट इल टेक देम फॉरवर्ड राइट एंड दे आर दे आर प्रोग्रेसिव इन नेचर 
they are open minded in nature and most of the other guys are very open to feedbacks hmm. the guys who are not open to feedback they are living in a cocoon sure so let's uh, dive deeper into each one of the points that yes. you've talked about you know uh, entrepreneurs of course you use terms like um, honesty which you know is is very generic can you zoom in on what does it mean what are the parameters you look for in an entrepreneur um, of course leverage you said i think an important takeaway is the leverage of the magic of, of of the company okay. and the promoter uh, you need to you know they are Uh, they they are connected and uh, you have to avoid both uske alawa are there any parameters that you uh, look at i mean what exactly do you mean because uh, what we know is capital allocation policy of a promoter is paramount in determining uh, determining the return uh, that they create but apart from that is there anything else what exactly do you uh, see so uh, clearly i think uh, honesty is a relative term right how do we kind of look at into a lens which is more scientific in nature right, right. so i think past always gives us a lot of indication ha huh. ki aap jab past history mein jaate ho people equity guys are more obsessed about future ha huh. but agar aap past ko stick se study kar lo na huh. to future automatically aapke aap easy ho jata hai huh. so we see that ki past mein isne kuch badmashi ki thi kya huh. had we been unfair to shareholders in the past ha huh. and what were the things which he kind of not did in the right in the right previous cycles so that's very important assessment second i'll give you a small examples yeah. uh, so i think that the one to hour meeting which we do with the management is the most crucial meeting wow usme agar aap theek se well prepared hoke gaye wow uh, you could see a lot of things during the uh, response during the that two hour period yeah. uh i'll give you a small example oh. so in one of the chemical companies which we were invested in hame pata chala ki bahut mid level log chhod ke ja rahe hain no oh. we had a call with the management uh the promoter himself and they said ki nahi nahi koi nahi chhod ke ja raha hai aapko kaun bol diya and obviously we didn't had the data no oh. to which was more of a hearsay no oh. so we said let's deep deep uh, dig deeper into it we went to linkedin no oh. and just the x and that company name oh. we searched upon oh. and we saw about 15 of them oh. who have left in last 12 months oh. and sab log apna linkedin update karte hain oh. and that's a great source and the oh. use of uh, technology to usme se 15 logon mein se we touch base with 5 6 of them who agreed to speak to us oh. and uh, unhone ye bola ki bhai ye ye aadmi aaye unke aane se disruption start hua we all have left Right. and then the next meeting we gave the 15 names mm. there could be more also yeah. but wo 15 naam diya so he was shocked mm. but the point was that he was not being honest to us right and that made our image of that promoter very low mm. and every next meeting we used to have a pinch of doubt and slowly we exited the position mm. so i'm just trying to say that these are the instances where you gauge the integrity honesty of a person whether he is true to the shareholders or not yeah. and hamesha mujhe ye ki cheez yaad aati hai mr narayan murthy ne ek bar bola tha ki the bad news should take elevator oh. and the good news should take stairs wow we really appreciate company jahan par the bad news is first yeah. communicated to the stakeholders right. and good news automatically people will come to know over a period of time right so ye ek sabse bada honesty ka hai Hmm. and we are trying to bring the art and science to it wow. through a framework ki kaise usko aap over a period of time kar sakte ho hmm. another question on uh, management because um, you know buffett for example says that when you weigh the you know reputation of the business versus the reputation of the management always go with the reputation of the business and you often find situations where you don't get both right and that to at the right price so uh, do you ignore opportunities where the business or the economics let's say a commodity cycle so you know that the business can have a fantastic you know return profile over the next 2 3 years but you don't really trust the management how do you navigate those things so it's a tough call uh, but i think uh, at least in my two decades i have not gone with a crook promoter even the cycle is looking great no बिकॉज साइकिल का म्यूजिक कब स्टॉप होगा आपको नहीं पता यू नेवर नो वेन द म्यूजिक स्टॉप्स बट यू विल बी देन लेफ्ट विद दैट प्रमोटर एंड यू विल हिट योर सेल्फ दैट वाई डेड आई डेड दैट मिस्टेक 
ऐसा नहीं है कि मुझसे मिस्टेक नहीं हुई है बहुत सारी मिस्टेक्स हुई है इन आइडेंटिफाइंग द राइट सेट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड प्रमोटर्स बट वी वर अर्ली ऑन टू एटलीस्ट रियलाइज कि ये गलती है तो अब निकल गए उससे सो आई थिंक आई थिंक आई विल आई विल प्रोबेबली मिस दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी बट नॉट डायल्यूट द प्रोसेस which which has paid handsome dividends over a period of time right so what are some of the mistakes by entrepreneurs that you are willing to ignore you know because you don't get 100% so some concessions you will make based on something like right? so capital what? allocation hmm. kabhi kabhi promoters make mistake hmm. uh a galat acquisition ho gaya hmm. uh maybe uh some dividend payout policies uh for a couple of years is not right so i think those are few things where you have to give that benefit of doubt hmm. that probably it's once and we we'll, we uh, we like guys hmm. who are honest about it to accept their mistakes in open hmm. but agar aapne galti karke bhi chahe main hu ya koi aur hai agar aap galti karke usko accept nahi karo hmm. to aap wo dobara galti wapas karoge right. because aapne aapke man mein wo hai ki wo sahi hai right so ye hamesha we have to avoid and i think if you can do that over a period of time that's that's something which is okay and then there are smaller smaller things which probably is okay because everybody is a human finally at the end of the day oh. so uh, we try to weigh that what's the intensity of that mistake oh. from a medium to long term perspective oh. but agar aap jaan bujh ke koi galti kar rahe ho fudging of accounts kar rahe ho koi red flags cash flow mein aa raha hai balance sheet mein ba ja raha hai those are non compromisable things uh, you want market cap at any expense wo this is not something which is which is to be forgiven no. uh, but chote chote mistakes hote rehte hain and as wo uh, movie mein bola tha na ki bade bade deshon mein choti choti baatein hote rehti right right okay and uh, give us some examples of you know entrepreneurs uh, who, uh, you know your favorite entrepreneurs and what is it that really worked in their fear in your investing in them so uh there are many right uh so couple of them ek uh, there's one company called uh, supreme industries pvc pipe ka uh the promoter mr tapadia is 87 years old wow but before that let me give you a disclaimer that all these names which i'm discussing is just for illustrative purposes right. there's no recommendation to buy and sell uh if you look at that guy Uh, that person he is 86 years old now oh. still very active in the business uh and always thinking about longevity of the business oh. how to grow the business still on the top of the things so when you meet such persons you understand that they have survived for 40 50 years no oh. it's not by fluke no oh. longevity in india is underrated or in a, a corporate world is underrated no oh. and they have a value system hmm. where the first value system is integrity hmm. uh, non compromisable then when you align with such companies as shareholder stakeholder you know that they are not making things just out of blue hmm. they are thinking it over wow. doing it and that's what is giving them longevity and you are aligning with the right partners at the end of the day great person right mm. and we have seen the kind of value creation the company has done and the leader in the sector mm. and jab bhi main scuttlebutt karta tha mm. unke employees se baat karta tha unke uh, suppliers se baat karta tha unke customers se baat karta tha dealer distributors sab ye bolte the wo bhagwan ke aadmi hai mm. not everybody can say that so mm. you get a lot of comfort that business upar niche hoga mm. but promoter ki niyat sahi hai Hmm. you know i'm just trying to hmm. uh, give you a thought process hmm. that uh, why is it important to choose hmm. the right person hmm. uh, as as when you look at a company uh, and there are many others for example uh, there is a company which again was very strong in my portfolio was a company called persistent system hmm. uh, and uh, mr anand deshpande great person uh, the way he ran the company as a first generation entrepreneur technocrat uh, built it over but you know one thing which i loved about him if you go into the history of the company hmm. last 3 4 years the company has done well wow. but uske pehle 3 4 saal company ne struggle kiya wow. because growth nahi aa rahi thi wow. because he was a technocrat he was not a 
business person. Right. He needed a management team who could run the show right. and he could just mentor them over a period of time. Once he got Sandeep Kalra hmm. into the company, the entire texture of the company changed. Hmm. They pressed on the lever of growth. All basic hygiene was in place, balance sheet, cash flow, return ratios. And once growth started coming in, hmm. market gave a crazy multiple. Right. So the magic in, in, in stock picking is I have seen, if you can get the right uh, company at a decent valuation hmm. uh, and growth starts coming in at that top of that, market goes berserk hmm. and re-rates the multiple. Hmm. So you get upside on earnings growth hmm. and you get the upside on multiple re-rating. It's a combination which creates magic. Sure. So another uh, great company, great promoters, uh, and still, I am telling you, being a largest shareholder of the company is not interfering. Uh, we keep checking on from time to time with different people, but he's hands off. He's just at the board level, mentoring people, making sure things are okay. And if management team needs to come back, hmm. they will come back. So this is what classical thing is, hmm. that just in ab apne aapko da- Delegate karna start karte ho. Right. And the owner operator model, if you can imbibe it well, right. I think that creates the magic in the in the company. Right. Thode Indian promoters ka problem kya hai, wo mo maya se nikal nahi paate hai. Hmm. Wo jo delegation or power jo aaj bhi apne haath mein rakna hai na, they have to understand the power is not in, in writing vouchers every day. The power is in shareholding. Hmm. Agar aap shareholding ke power ko samaj lo, Hmm. then you will run the company in a very different model. Hmm. And I am a great fan of owner-operator business model. Look at Bajaj, hmm. Sanjeev. What? He's an owner. But yeah. he got Rajiv Jain as the classic operator. Right. And that combination has worked wonders for what Bajaj has created at value for everybody. Hmm. So I think there are many examples. And I think I follow one other th- example that 40 to 55 years to 60 years no. is the right spot to identify a great promoter. No. Um, and early on in my career, Manish Chokhani no. wrote a great piece on this. No. And this has gone very deep inside into me and it has worked wonders for me in stock picking. Mm-hmm. Look, by 40, you have seen cycles. Right. You have fire in the belly to prove something. By 60, you have to go to a nirvana stage. Mein jane lagte ho. <laughs> that 40 to 55, 60 is the fantastic age where you create value. And there are, ample, ample, you know, number of examples to prove that. Mm. Look at Narayan Murthy, Nandan Nilkeni in the entire Infosys batch. Mm. They created the maximum value at this, that age. Mm. Look at Mr. Uday Kotak. Mm. Maximum value get created. Look at Chandra now. Uh, when he was in part of TCS, maximum value get created. Rajiv Bajaj, Sanjeev Bajaj, maximum value get created. I'm not saying that uh, there are no outliers, both sides, mm. lower and upper as well. But I'm just trying to give you a thought that why finding this age bracket is so important because you have seen cycles, you have the experience, you have the fire in the belly mm. to do a lot of things. And if you can mm. get this cam- combination right, mm. you create magic. When you talk about management, you know, uh, uh, businesses can go up. Like, for example, you were saying that in persistent growth did not come, but you knew that the ingredients of what can create growth would come in. So for you, do you first filter saying that, yes, this is a business that that I really love and then go and say, should I invest in this management or not? Or is the starting point that first let me be assured that the management is great, then I will look at the merits or economics okay. of the business. Both go hand in hand. Uh, so first, when we are screening the companies, obviously, the reputation of the management is not known in financials. Hmm. That's what uh, is very clear to us. Right. Financials will tell you only the numbers. Right. You have to dig deeper to find the reputation of the management. So once the screener throws you a list of companies, hmm. then we start deep diving into it. Uh, speaking to the network of CAs, the local people, yeah. the suppliers and other things. And most of the time what happens is that when you have invested in a company, uh, sometimes during conversations they talk about their supplier base, they talk about their customers who are good. And in that you can see respect of a one promoter towards another. And oh. that makes you think also at times. Yeah. So those are where some of my ideas have also come. Oh. That uh, we have gone deeper into it. But generally, uh, it's not that we start with first management because we don't know. 
there are hundreds of companies hundreds of management who we how do we know mm-hmm. but we know that these are the companies which have run with 15% 18% return on capital for a donkey numbers of years mm-hmm. there's something which is a moat in them mm-hmm. uh, either it could be distribution product whatever baby thing then we deep dive that what is the gross margin of this business right if they are at 45 50% above gross margin there's some moat sitting inside the business mm-hmm. then you look at the cash flow conversion then you look at other hygiene factors and then you think that this business is kuch to hai is business mein. let's deep dive into promoters now hmm. and then you start seeing and asking ki these are the right guys or not to partner with so i think that's the process we should follow but initially aap management se khali aap nahi start kar sakte aapko business ka hang aana bahut zaruri hai right. financials ka hang aana bahut zaruri hai and then you move ahead on that right and what is your checklist with respect to valuations so valuations uh, are important i think very very important a great company may not be a great investment uh, but i have learned the hard way around hmm. uh, and many kafi sari galtiyan so do error hoti hai error of omission error of commission maine hmm. error of commission thoda kam kiya hoga hmm. lekin in error of omission bahut kiya hai hmm. aur bahut isliye kiya hai kyunki valuation dekh dekh ke main growth ko visualize nahi kar paya Hmm. and uh, eventually i realized that growth is the horse valuation is the cart not the other way around hmm. so if growth continues is a great company valuation will sustain over a period of time but if growth falters valuation falters hmm. but uh, in many companies like for example bajaj hmm. uh bahut jaldi hum nikal gaye matlab at least my fund which i was managing earlier we exited very early hmm. because hame laga ki valuation bahut mehanga ho gaya char time book panch time book right but growth kept on surprising us and and i think uh, valuation then uh, uh, kind of sustained hmm. uh, so i think uh, uh, many stocks i have learned that error of commission is costly error of uh, omission is costlier hmm. because error of omission mein wo 100 tak ja sakta hai hmm. error of commission mein ek zero ho sakta hai hmm. that's also a costly error hmm. and capital protection is my style of management of portfolios hmm. but 1 to 100 wala bhi bada upside aap miss kar sakte hmm. so that i have learned uh, plus access to the worst of what uh, most value investors uh, uh, matlab hey see then. but i am saying that valuation is important hmm. uh, you should keep an eye on valuation but also keep an eye on growth hmm. if the company keeps on going and keeps on developing new optionalities hmm. you should not ignore that no oh. okay and uh, uh, tell me some examples of things that you got wrong you know for example entrepreneurs that you uh, you know where you misjudged or you know uh, were proven wrong and what was that on account of, on account of so couple of my mistakes have happened in financial sector and i think choosing the wrong entrepreneurs or business model and not knowing what's inside that book which they are lending uh i had uh, costly mistakes mm. and a uh, couple of stocks actually went down by 40 50% mm. uh but thankfully there were smaller weights in my portfolio but weight down is a well, loss is a loss oh. so the learning was that in financials uh the the choosing of the right person is very important how oh. uh, there i made a mistake in choosing the right person wow. uh, the person got carried away by growth wow. and then made mistakes so i think financials mein ek do galtiyan hui hai uh then uh, infra mein ek do galtiyan hui early on in my career uh, i still remember a company thi road sector mein oh. uh and uh, we invested oh. uh and do uh, do क्वार्टर तीन क्वार्टर कैश फ्लू वॉज नेगेटिव ऑपरेटिंग कैश और वी वॉज सरप्राइज कि क्यों नेगेटिव हो रहा है देन आई सेंड वन ऑफ माई एनलिस्ट टू द साइट जहां उनका काम चल रहा था एंड द गाई सेट वी आर नॉट बीन पेड सैलरीज फॉर वन मंथ वो दूसरे साइट में गया वहां भी सैलरी नहीं दिस शो डज दी अलार्म बेट एंड गॉड वॉज काइंड टू वर्स दे वॉज अ ब्लेसिंग कि हम अपने परचेज प्राइस से दस परसेंट ऊपर में ही थे and there were buyers who were scouting for it wow. lock stock barrel humne mal bech diya wow. today it's a penny stock wow. so but that was a mistake ki bhai cash flow hum nahi samajh paye us samay wow. uh, on the hindsight we exited not at loss is a different ball game but wow. analysis hamari galat ho gayi wow. ya meri galat ho gayi to wow. waise kafi sare mistakes hue 
and i think uh, on the hindsight when you reflect back yeah uh, every mistake is a learning yeah. and uh, learning till you don't repeat it again correct so wo bahut important hai and uh, aap promoters ke bare mein baat kiye uh, for example one promoter where he is fantastic understanding is shri cement mr bangar wow the way he taught the entire cement industry ki grinding unit kya hoti hai सीमेंट का कॉस्ट कैसे आप लीडर बन सकते हो एंड विद द सेम इंटरनल अक्रूवल्स ही केप्ट ऑन एक्सपेंडिंग फ्रॉम टू मिलियन टन नाउ टू फिफ्टी मिलियन टन सो दो शोज दैट पावर ऑफ कंपाउंडिंग विद द सेम इंटरनल अक्रूवल्स एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट वैल्यू इज फैंटेस्टिक द अदर कंपनी विच बिकेम अ वेरी बिग मल्टी बैगर फॉर माई पोर्टफोलियो वॉज सोलर इंडस्ट्रीज द कंपनी दैट्स अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउ यू क्रिएट ऑप्शनैलिटीज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम when they create came for ipo in 2005 6 uh, we saw them as a small company supplying explosive to mining sector huh. but over a period of time they went from coal india to private mines to uh, global entire mining housing infra everybody and they became the leader in india and second largest player in the world now well you know so the opportunity is there but how do you tap it was and all through internal accruals you know and through all internal cash flows uh and i think uh, at that time in 2011 12 if i still remember 100 crore ka annual profit karte the wo aaj 200 crore ka quarterly profit karte the wow. mistakes mistakes mein in assessing management method so ek company aayi thi i still remember sepco wow. uh that was one of my mistakes i can cannot forget uh this was in 2013 14 somewhere like that uh promised a lot of things uh uh during the ipo they used to be in bodybuilding stuff and all that and railways and all that kaam karte the and ipo ke ek quarter baad se they started kitchen sink wow all the things which were hidden in the skeleton all the skeletons which were there started coming out one quarter after the other hmm we tried to reach the management they kept on giving wrong assurances hmm. quarter after quarter uh and jab aata tha to it used to be a surprise to all of us so i think that was a very wrong selection wow. uh in judging the wrong promoter wow. eventually the company got sold off i think to somebody else but i'm just saying that on my part it was a wrong judgment on selecting the wrong promoter so galtiya so it was the promoter or was it not visible in the financials or what financials were visible nahi tha hmm. but uh, promoter ki integrity mein i mean I, my sense was it was not right okay. uh, over a period of time but uh, who am i to judge anybody but i'm just saying that uh, you have made mistakes in identifying also oh. and uh, mistakes are always there You hmm. cannot have a bullseye in investing. Right. Thus, me say thus, to ho nahi sakta. Okay. So, but there are mistakes which have been made. Right. Okay. Uh, in your farewell note, again, you said that you know about sixteen percent of your you know stocks that you picked uh, were ten baggers, right? Yes. Uh, ten baggers plus. Uh, so, what are those ingredients? I mean, jab ap lete ho, uh, you know, you obviously are not estimating that it will be a ten. bagger you can correct me otherwise i mean if you pick stocks then thinking that it is a 10 bagger but um, what are those ingredients that you think have really worked um, in your case i mean when you look at your list of multi baggers uh, was there a certain kind of uh, theme that emerged for you i think uh, clearly ek cheez to clearly nikal ke aayi ki cash flow balance sheet pe compromise kabhi mat karo oh. that was the first thing second is return ratios per compromise mat karo don't buy an inferior business which generates return on capital below the cost of equity oh. and companies which can generate cash flows and reinvest back that cash flows into the business at higher returns oh. creates huge value for the stakeholders oh. so that was another point which was clearly visible oh. across the picks which did well ki wo cash flow generate karte the usi cash flows ko apne business mein redeploy karte the at higher rates of return and they created a compounding machine over a period wow. of time that was third so uh, when you look at the average holding period for i'm just looking at your multi baggers right now if you look at the average holding period for them what would what do you think would be the average 8 se 10 saal 8 se 10 saal and that's why i say ki 
हाइंडसाइट में लगता है बट देर आर पीरियड्स ऑफ टाइम वेन दी मेनी ऑफ दी स्टॉक्स दो दो तीन तीन साल कुछ नहीं किया उन्होंने आपका पोर्टफोलियो कंस्ट्रक्शन काम आता है विच द अनदर पॉइंट आई मैं इन माई फेयर वेन लेटर दैट वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट लर्निंग इज दैट आपको ईयरली चैंपियन नहीं बनना है यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी अयरली चैंपियन विनिंग टॉप ऑफ द चार्ट आप वो करने जाओगे ना आप ट्रस्ट मी यू विल डिस्ट्रॉय वैल्यू फॉर द यूनिट होल्डर्स बिकॉज यू विल टेक एक्सेसिव रिस्क सो योर पोर्टफोलियो शुड बी हैविंग फिफ्टी सिक्सटी गुरीलास जो आप अपने प्रोसेस से जो मैं अपने बात किए वो सिलेक्ट किया आपने एंड वो पचास साठ में आपको भी नहीं पता कौन सा किंग कॉन्ग बनेगा बिकॉज एग्जीक्यूशन विल फाइनली डिसाइड ऑन द हाइंड साइड हम लोग सब स्मार्ट लगते हैं कि यहाँ वी आइडेंटिफाई दैट किसी को नहीं पता है राइट एज दे एग्जीक्यूट एज मार्केट स्टार्ट गिविंग दैम वैल्यू यू कम टू नो दे आर मल्टी बैगर्स सो आई थिंक पोर्टफोलियो कंस्ट्रक्शन इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट और मैंने एक चीज सीखा है पोर्टफोलियो कंस्ट्रक्शन में डोंट टेक एक्सट्रीम कॉल्स साइजिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्टफोलियो कंस्ट्रक्शन अक्रॉस द पोर्टफोलियो इज वेरी एंड इट मे डिफर फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन ये मेरे को सूट किया हो सकता है किसी को पंद्रह स्टॉक पोर्टफोलियो सूट करता हूँ इफ इज दिस टेम्परामेंट इज देयर बट मैं राज को रोज सोचता हूँ कि मैं गलत हो रहा हूँ एंड वेन यू इन फुडिशरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ट्रस्ट मी द बिगेस्ट फियर आई हैव आई शुड नॉट लूज कैपिटल फॉर द क्लाइंट मैं दो टका रिटर्न कम दू चलेगा बट मैं मंदी में कैपिटल नहीं ब्रेक करना चाहिए एंड आई थिंक विद दैट थॉट प्रोसेस यू क्रिएट अ पोर्टफोलियो विच इज क्वाइट डाइवर्सिफाइड वेल डाइवर्सिफाइड एंड मेकिंग श्योर दैट ड्यूरिंग ड्रॉडाउन यू प्रोटेक्ट द कैपिटल एंड ये जब आप करते हो तो आपके पास कई सारे कभी स्टॉक रहेंगे जो दो साल तीन साल नहीं किए लेकिन उस समय कोई दूसरा स्टॉक अच्छा कर रहा है तो योर पोर्टफोलियो गेट्स बैलेंस्ड आउट एंड यू आर नॉट अंडर प्रेशर रैंडम इट है वो पचास के पचास स्टॉक या पचपन स्टॉक्स कुछ नहीं करें राइट राइट यू विल हैव सम स्टॉक्स डूइंग वेल नॉट डूइंग वेल बट आपको नर्चर करना है आपको पेशेंट रहना है एंड दैट्स वाई रिमेंबर द पोर्टफोलियो टर्न ओवर यूज टू बी इन सिंगल डिजिट मैनेजिंग अ डेली नैफ फंड डेली रिडेम्शन इन सब्सक्रिप्शन फंड हैविंग अ सिंगल डिजिट यू नो टर्न ओवर रेशियो मीन्स दैट यू आर पेशेंट विथ यूर इन्वेस्टिंग कंपनीज फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम और आप उनके वो टेस्ट करते रहो कि ड्यूरिंग डाउन साइकिल बिकॉज ऑफ हेडविंस इन द इंडस्ट्री आर दे डूइंग थिंग्स विच विल मेक दम स्ट्रॉगर वंस दी हेडविंड टर्न इन टू अ टेल विंड एंड हमने देखा है कि काफी सारी कंपनियां जब हेडविंड रहती है दे स्ट्रेंथन द प्रोसेस अच्छे लोगों को लेते हैं इनोवेशन पर ध्यान लगाते हैं एंड जैसी मार्केट टर्न होता है दे जस्ट किल इट Oh. and uh, and that's how you get uh, multiplier returns oh. so patience perseverance is very important in fund management oh. so while you hold these stocks for you know 8 10 years do you trade in them kabhi kabhi yes agar aapko lag rahi hai ki your market is kabhi hota hai market goes euphoric also yeah and try to extrapolate near term into the future and you don't agree with that right तो आप जो एक्सेस होल्डिंग होती है आप उसको शेव ऑफ करके प्रॉफिट बुक कर लेते हो सिमिलरली ना डाउन साइकिल पीपल वांट टू थ्रो द टावल आउट और बोलते हैं ये तो गई कंपनी यू गेट एट वेरी चीप वैल्यूएशन डिस्पाइट ऑफ नोइंग ये द कंपनी का नेक्स्ट चार पांच छह क्वार्टर या दो एक सेल डे मे बी नथिंग विल है यू लिव विथ इट बिकॉज यू नो दैट बेसिक हाइजीन इज नॉट डायल्यूटेड राइट ना जो अपने बात की है कैश लोज बैलेंस शीट इस डाउन साइकिल में भी डाइल्यूट नहीं किया इन्होंने तो दे विल किल इट व्हेन दे राइट इट ऑन द अपसाइड तो यू बाय इट एंड एंड टेक योर होल्डिंग स्लाइटली अप एंड एवरेज इट आउट तो दोस आर थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू इट स्लाइटली स्मार्टली आल्सो एंड व्हाट इफ द स्टॉक एज इट ऑलवेज हैपेंस यू बाय द स्टॉक एंड इट गोस डाउन आई लव इट व्हाट यू डू आई लव इट बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि अगर नीचे में आपको माल मिल रहा है बिकॉज़ आई बिलीव कि आपको इट्स इट्स अ मिथ कि लोग स्टॉक लेते ही नेक्स्ट सेकंड से वो चाहते हैं कि स्टॉक ऊपर जाना चालू करें वो कभी नहीं हो सकता है मार्केट डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव बॉट इट राइट सो आई थिंक इट्स अ मिथ सो आई थिंक अगर खरीदने के बाद स्टॉक ऑन नीचे जाता है इट गिव्स मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बाय एट लोअर प्राइसिंग प्रोवाइडेड माई रिसर्च इज राइट एंड आई हैव टू कीप एन आई एन ईयर ओपन कि भाई कुछ ऐसी चीज मैं मिस तो नहीं कर दिया एंड आप बिलीव नहीं करोगे जब भी हम कोई स्टॉक लेते थे या अभी भी मैं देख रहा हूँ मैं बाई साइड जो जिसका बाई रिकमेंडेशन है ना एनालिस्ट का मैं उसको फोन नहीं करता आई कॉल द सेल गाय कि भाई 
आप क्यों स्टॉक पर सेल हो वाई यू आर सेल ऑन दिस स्टॉक वे आई मिसिंग समथिंग एंड देर आर मेनी टाइम्स वे वी काइंड ऑफ इग्नोर्ड और मिस आउट फ्यू फैक्ट्स एंड दैट एनलिस्ट बिकॉज वी कॉल द सेल एनलिस्ट वी कुड नो अ लॉट ऑफ मोर थिंग्स बिफोर वी एक्टिंग ऑन दैट यू नो स्क्रिप्ट सो आई थिंक इट्स हेल्प्स एज अ प्रोसेस इट हेल्प्स दैट डोंट कॉल द गाय हुज ऑलरेडी अ बाय ऑन द स्टॉक कॉल द सेल गाय विल कम टू नो so you buy on the way down also and you buy buy on the way up Absolutely. also and uh, is there uh, when do you cut your position i mean if it goes down uh, so at what yeah. point do you lose faith see see kya hota hai ki art of selling is a very important art and we all have till now also spoken about art of buying hmm. kaise kharidte hain but art of selling to be honest with you i'm not 100 out of 100 I may be sixty or sixty-five only, and okay. that's my one weakness which I have to overcome over a period of time. I'll be honest and and okay. candid in accepting that. Uh, normally, there are three, four non-compromisable things. Hmm. One, as I mentioned about that infra company, so in that it clearly was that there was a balance sheet cash flow problem. No, as we found out, the salary was delayed. We didn't blink our eyes. Hmm. We stole lock, stock, barrel. Mm. non compromise mm. then we don't go and ask why you're not giving this there's some problem right, right. uh any red flags corporate governance issues uh you know we we don't even blink our eye mm. just out of it third as i said my error of uh, omission on valuation mm. uh whenever we think that market is extrapolating too much mm. and we do something called reverse dcf right ki bhai आप रिवर्स डीसीएफ करके देखो कि व्हाट मार्केट इंप्लाइड ग्रोथ क्या हो रहा है अगर आपको लग रहा है कि नहीं बॉस ये इंप्लाइड ग्रोथ इज टू हाई व्हाट मार्केट इज प्राइसिंग द कंपनी वोट बी एबल टू डिलीवर मोर देन दिस दे विल बी मिसमैच ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन प्लीज ट्रिम योर पोजीशन इफ नॉट एक्सिट द पोजिशन सो ये सिर्फ चार पांच चीजें हैं विच यू क्लोजली वॉच आउट टू मेक श्योर दैट आप सेलिंग भी उसी रफ्तार से कर पाओ जो आप बाइंग में आपका टेम्पलेट है तो आई बट आई थिंक आई एम स्टिल लर्निंग या बिकॉज यू नो वाइल बाइंग यू कैन इजली से दैट यू नो दिस इज माई फेयर प्राइस एंड आई वॉन्ट सो मच सेफ्टी यू नो ट्वेंटी परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट वॉट एवर ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द मार्केट वॉट इट ऑफर्स यू बट ऑन दी ऑन दी हायर साइड यू नेवर नो वेन द टॉप इज गोइंग टू हैपन नॉट दैट यू नो द बॉटम but top is a lot uh, more gear the tricky right yes so uh, so do you still go with some fair uh, fair price of the stock yes we go with the fair price just... of we go with the fair price of the stock but you know that you know when the when the wind is usi samay aapka temperament test hota hai usi samay aapka temperament test hota hai ki bhi markets may be mispricing the stocks both on the downside and on the upside there's never a fair value where the market is always right uh, for example today aaj kafi cheezon mein market is i think in my view in all humbleness is extrapolating things which may not happen no or next teen paanch saal saath saal ko discount kar raha hai no to i think one needs to be careful there well. uh, and uh, finally temperament gets tested out uh, and over the cycle what i have learned is that as investor you are the biggest enemy of yourself hmm. uh aap stock picking mein acche ho gaye sab kuch acha hoga but agar aapka temperament aapke sath nahi hai hmm. you will we will have tough time hmm. and i i this got tested in four cycles now hmm. 2007 8 2013 2017 2020 and it was also now hmm. and different reasons ek baar mandi thi तब मैं पॉजिटिव था 2013 में 2008 नौ में 2020 में hmm. 2020 कोविड इन मार्च वी वेंट ऑल इन एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई हैड ऑलमोस्ट वन वन एंड हाफ परसेंट कैश ऑन दी राइट पीपल वर नॉट राइट बट बिकॉज आई डिड माय एनालिसिस एंड सेड दैट इवन इफ दे डोंट डिलीवर वन ईयर एनी कंपनी द इम्पैक्ट इज जस्ट सेवन एट परसेंट ऑन द फेयर वैल्यू बट स्टॉक्स आर डाउन फोर्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट ये अपॉर्चुनिटी कहाँ मिलेगी आपको हाइन साइट में अच्छा लग रहा है बट यूर गोइंग थ्रू दैट मोमेंट इट्स नॉट ईजी एंड सिमिलर इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन आई अंडर परफॉर्म फॉर सेवन एट मंथ्स कंटिन्यूसली बट आई कुंट बाई ऑल दोज नेम्स एंड टू थाउजेंड एटीन वेन दी क्रैकडाउन स्टार्टेड 
अल्फा ऑटोमेटिकली आने लगा सो आई थिंक टेम्परामेंट इज अंडर रेटेड इन माई व्यू एंड आई हैव सीन गुड मैनेजर्स ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लोकली ग्लोबली दे हैव अ फेंटेस्टिक टेम्परामेंट एंड आई थिंक दैट्स द बिगेस्ट एसेट अ पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजर कैन प्रोसेस वुड यू आई लाइट टू और थ्री थिंग्स टू डेवलप अ टेम्परामेंट लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक द फर्स्ट वन इज नोइंग योर सेल्फ आई थिंक के वाई एस इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट दैन के वाई सी राइट नोइंग योर सेल्फ इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट आर द सिचुएशन विच मेक्स यू एंक्शियस हाउ डू यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू सिचुएशंस कैन यू सी ड्रॉडाउन इन योर पोर्टफोलियोज योर कंपनीज हाउ वेल रिसर्च यू आर सो आई थिंक दे आर टू थ्री थिंग्स यू कैन डू वन आई थिंक मेडिटेशन इज समथिंग विच क्लियर्स द नॉइज अराउंड and i have been practicing it for almost 17 18 years now wow. every morning starts with that so it gives you a composure a temperament and you don't react to things wow. see in life uh it's very important to understand that whatever good is happening is not because of you wow. whatever bad is happening is not because of you wow. if you can have that understanding you will not fly when things are going right and you will not go drain down when things are not going your way you will maintain a composure and a balance i think it's it comes with practice mm-hmm. it comes with knowing yourself more and i think meditation helps a lot mm-hmm. and anybody who is listening this i would strongly urge them that agar aap 15 20 25 minute nikal pao apne samay mein mm-hmm. daily it will work wonders for you the second one i think is research mm-hmm. how deep you go inside a company No. because no company goes this way linear companies will have its ups and downs mm. and during those down phases it's your own research and conviction mm. which will come handy mm. borrowed conviction will never pay off aap kisi ko sun ke le to lo lekin jab wo kharab samay aata hai na to aap uske conviction par act nahi kar pao wo aapka internal research aur conviction hona chahiye and that will decide your temperament again so i think research your deep dive Your conviction is very important in choosing the right company. Sure. So, ये दो तीन चीज़ें आप कर लो over a period of time and portfolio construction पर ध्यान दो. So you will never get swayed up by ups and downs in the market too much. Sure. Um, one last question, which is, you know, you have always managed small cap and mid cap funds. Now there is a lot of, uh, like you also said, exuberance in that uh, category. There is a lot of retail appetite, yes. appetite for yes. these kind of stocks. Now, if you were not a fund manager and you didn't have access to management, and I, what I take away from what you said is that management is a very is very central to the way you pick up stocks. If you didn't have any access to management uh, and put yourself in the shoes of a retail investor, uh, how easy or difficult is it to uh, make excess returns in mid caps? Management is important, but that's not the only criteria I'm saying. Well, a great management turns a mediocre business into gold. no oh. fair enough but we should accept the fact though this category is looking like a nirvana category financial nirvana hmm. because last 3 year 5 year 10 year all returns look extremely good hmm. but don't forget this psych- this category comes with its own volatility hmm. own risk hmm. and i don't know how many of people are aware in the last 22 years if you hmm. go back into time history uh only 12% of mid cap stocks hmm. have become la- or small cap stocks have become mid cap or large cap hmm. so the mortality rate is quite is high. very very high so you need to have a process in mind when you deep dive into this category no hmm. uh i have seen in 2020 when 3 year sip return was negative Oh. Five year was in single digit. Ten year was in single digit. Oh. Three years changed the texture across the board. Oh. But वापस एक समय आ सकता है, आ सकता है. Market है. But उस समय अगर आपका research ठीक नहीं है, आप आप पेज के चले जाते हो. So I think it's very important that you follow a process in this category oh. because they are still companies which are evolving in size. Uh, the mortality rate is very high in this category. in this category i would suggest go with good managers oh. who have seen cycles over a period of time 
बट अगर आप ये चेकलिस्ट जो मैंने बताया आप उसको ठीक से फॉलो करो स्क्रीनर से काफी सारे चीज अगर आप डेवलप करो थोड़ा to all these stocks or deals that came to your table over the last 3 years what would that be how Re- many rejections? stocks yeah how many stocks did you say yes to and how many did you say no to 40% I mean, of the stocks i would have said yes 60% no okay rejection list was very high okay 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 um do you believe in luck absolutely 110% uh, how much of your success do you attribute to luck maybe 100% you never know oh come on uh, see I, i i see you need luck uh, luck is is a vague term uh i think the blessing wishes and making sure you are on the right path uh is very important and i think there's something which i didn't discuss about visualization hmm. i think that's very important hmm. uh each individual has so much of brain power that if you visualize what you want hmm. trust me the universe combines it together to get it you hmm. and i have witnessed that hmm. uh for last many many years i've visualized few things and it has automatically happened hmm. so i would say it's nothing but luck keep doing your hard work yeah. keep your integrity question contributed to your own visualization the fact visualized. that you visualized. visualized and making sure that you don't compromise and dilute integrity i think it's very very important which i have not touched upon it but i'm again saying for any portfolio manager or aspiring portfolio manager mm. there will be ample number of opportunities where you will be tested mm. on your reputation on your integrity please don't dilute that that's the most or the biggest asset you can possess in your career in this industry over longer periods of time that's now uh, any error or mistake that you have been prone to valuation errors uh selling very early thinking valuations have full and missing the bigger picture at times missing the growth which the company can surprise us more and often so i think that's something uh i'm i'm consciously trying to see how i can rectify that the stock that made you most money uh in the previous portfolios yeah um uh, i think uh, the biggest one was that explosive company solar industries i think then uh, supreme i talked about persistent right. i talked about atul i talked about uh, many of those names srf i talked about okay any investors who moves whose moves you watch kon kya khareed raha hai uh not watch but uh, certain people whom i respect um and uh, you know whom at least i believe that uh, my money is safe and i watch them very closely uh, obviously uh Nimesh bhai doesn't accept public money but keep him in you know, a very high respect uh in public markets i think uh, vasan is one of sbi who my who was who my style i really admire stock picking i really admire yeah. uh then the third person whom i learned a lot on portfolio construction how to balance things is a person called nilesh surana of merai right a uh, great person again and what he has built over a period of time uh, amazing uh, and uh, there are many others uh, so sabse aap lete raho who would you trust your money with if you were not managing your own money two people i think uh, nilesh surana from mirai and uh, vasan from sbi these two are good guys uh, if i was not doing anything uh, which will be rare in my view <laughs> but uh, but these yeah. are the two guys and uh, i really uh, you know admire their style their trust and the way they look at companies and pick up stocks i think uh, quite quite happy with their approach sure on that note thank you so much pankaj it was such a pleasure talking thank you thank you mahalakshmi for having me here it's a pleasure Bye.